So here I am, I'll be doing the selection. I'm using the lasso tool to select my face and select and mask to refine the edges. I use a lot of layer masks in this uh in this whole edit. It's kind of uh it's very useful. <laughs> So I'm just doing my best to isolate myself from the background, doing a lot of adjustments. I prepared pictures already for this uh, for this manipulation. So for instance, I cropped out the picture of the lady. I go to blending options, which allows me to play with the opacity. So I can blend it much better with, uh, with my face, basically. And I'll be using a lot of um, this, uh, I'll be using this technique quite a lot, really. So as you can see, I'm just playing right now, just seeing what works. You'll find that I do do things in this video, but then I just scrap it because it doesn't work out, but it all, it all ties in in the end. So I'll be adding this picture of the zombie eye. I kind of wanted one where it looks incredibly dead. I think my picture that I chose makes me look too happy. <laughs> so this one I'll be adding this just to add more of the zombie effect. I really like the eye on this one. As you can see, I'm using blending options. I use blending options a lot. It's how I, yeah, it's how I add pictures and layer them all together. Layer mask is very helpful. I use warp also just so I can fit certain places so it ties it all ties in on my face. Um at this point I'm probably looking for more reference pictures. And I wanted my eyes to look dead, so I did something similar to the reference picture which was to make my eyes grey. I use liquify to just kind of change the shape of my face a bit more, make it look a bit more um, droopy rather than, because I look very happy in this picture. Um, so I do have a lot of references. I I do adjustments along the way. I want to, and for this point, I'll be doing, using the or adding the nose. I use liquify to change the nose shape so it's a bit more front rather than crooked. So I use uh, adjustment layers such as hue and saturation to change the color of it so it fits with the whole image. And then I'll be adding more gore because I can't have enough layer style blending options as always. It's really helpful. It's something that I just recently learned as well, so I'm glad I discovered it because it's made things much more easier. And in here I'll be adding the mouth. Warp tool as always, just to kind of align everything. Blend modes just to see which uh, which fits the theme more. <laughs> Adjustment layers always. So it I I go on this theme of taking a part of a photo, adding it, playing with the opacity, and trying to make it uh, fit with the image. So I use a lot of layer masks. So I can blend it into the skin and blend it all together, blend all the elements together. And I will use 
an adjustment layer, hue and saturation, or some levels. So I can change the color and I can change the hue, of course. So they all have the same tone rather than a different tone. And I just do a few more adjustments, really. So as we can see, this is what we have so far. It's all coming together. I don't look as happy <laughs> anymore. So at this point, I'm looking at reference pictures. So there's a quite pause. So I apologize about that. So if you can look at the layers, um, the layer bar, I have quite a lot of um, layers uh, and hue and saturation adjustments because that's how I make sure everything has the same color. I wanted, at this point, I wanted to hide the, my eyebrows because they just look kind of like out of place. So I use the clone tool for this as well. Um, so I can keep the same skin texture. Here I'm adding veins to my skin. Same principle as I've done, just blending options, uh, opacity, a lot of layer mask. So I find a lot of these um, images to add to the skin. It adds texture, which I'm, because uh, zombie skin isn't really smooth. <laughs> and I hit the other eyebrow with a clone stamp tool. <laughs> So at this point I wanted my face to have a bit of an angry look so I got a picture from the old lady, added it in, changed, um, just adjusted it basically just so it fits. I used the pen tool, I used the brush tool, I mean to add shadows and highlights for why, where I see fit just so everything has some dimension it things don't look so flat and this is my favorite part I added pictures of a burned skin and just used and yeah adjusted it so it fits with the skin and then I used layer mask and just brushed it all in it really really completed the look I felt like if I didn't really did that, um, my, the rest of my body would look too clean <laughs> and I'm supposed to be a zombie. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for, at this point, I'm looking for background images, what to do. So as you can see, everything has like just tied together. Um, I really enjoy how I did the skin the most. I'm using blend mode just to see which um, effect I prefer with the background. Adjustment layers as always. I did think that I would have done something with the hair because I think it looks a bit too perfect for the for the theme. <laughs> But um, at this point, um, I think it's fine. <laughs> I, I think I, I think it's fine. Um, so I add some shadows. I use liquify to kind of just make my face a bit more thinner, so a bit more gaunt. Uh, curves. I use curves just to change the just to change the tone of the image, make it a bit more brighter, make it a bit more um, um, to increase the shadows. 